bad is it in the world today? Bad? Really bad? Slightly kind of bad? Or just meh? Well, that's the question the pollsters over at Fox News wanted to ask their audience. And ask they did. How are things going in the world today? The hell in a handbasket. Yes, 58% of Americans say that they think the things in the world are going to hell in a handbasket. That was the question. 58% said absolutely. Now, it's pretty obvious that they're, they were having a little bit of fun with this over there with the wording. And Hey, why not? Right? You can have fun. So then they asked why the world is going to hell in a handbasket. And you get some of the responses here from the Fox News audience. 50% of people say ISIS is a greater threat to the United States, to the citizens of the United States. 27% say Ebola and 18% are convinced ISIS fighters infected with Ebola are coming over the border as we speak. So now I have to ask you on the panel here, what do you think about this? What, 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 what do you think about how bad it is in the world today? Are, uh, is, it, is everything going to hell in a handbasket, or will everything be all right, and why? Well, I just want to point out that this is a particularly confusing poll for a Fox News audience. Because things going to hell in a handbasket and being all right is actually the same answer. Because we all know they're just waiting for the apocalypse to rewrite the whole world. So basically this poll, those answers could have just been one answer and it would have been fine. So I, I don't know what to read in it. Uh, this is like Fox News. And again, th Obama, come on. He's president. Of course it's going to hell in a handbasket. Of course. Everything, Obama, thanks, Obama. Ebola, thanks, Obama. Shep Smith being nice on Fox News, thanks, Obama. Come on. Of course. This is such an old fart question. It's ridiculous. And it's such an old fart response. It's like, oh, yeah, of course, in my day, nothing bad happened. We just threw bombs at people. So it's like, it's like, no. Everything is happening the same way it's always been happening. There's fucked up things going on. A bunch of people are dying every day, and we are lazy and not really trying to do anything about it until it's going to really fuck up the fact that we can't get the iPhone 7. So it's like, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> things are tough. Things are bad. But what I've noticed is that this kind of answer is a disconnect between the older generation and the younger generation. When you see what, you know, millennials are doing, they don't have this nihilistic, pessimistic view of what's going on. Like, they acknowledge, yeah, there's some shit going down, but it's not like, oh, it's going to hell in a handbasket, I can't do anything about it. It's like, okay, there's shit going down, what can I do to address it? How can I work either around the system, through the system, or change the sy system to address the issues that I'm worried about. So I think this is telling of the Fox audience that they are feeling utterly hopeless and they're probably waiting for the pacemaker to, to crap out on them many times. Crack they're out by... hopeless because we have a, uh, a black president, of course. If a well, Republican were in charge, nothing would actually change, but they'd be feeling a lot more hopeful. And yep. their, their pacemakers will shut down because of an ISIS EMP. But um, I, what I learned from, from this particular poll is that 18% of uh, Fox News viewers also watch CNN because the only conspiracy theory not attributable to Fox that is attributable to CNN is that ISIS and Ebola are the same thing. That was the both number in that poll. And um, if you can remember, they definitely are going to start infecting themselves and going in and spreading it because that's how Ebola works. Now, what I want to know is, Jeff, how did they ask the Q-tips, is everything going to be all right? Did they have the pollster ask, is everything going to be all right? Or was it going to be in, like, a little slang to throw the Q-tips off? Like, everything going to be all right? You know, kind of just put that whole thing in there because they're Q-tips. And they'd be like, no, no, hell in a handbasket. There was that, too. And, Sean, you missed that element. I'm blaming you. I'm catching a lot tonight that you're missing. Well, the most important question, is a handbasket really the most efficient way to travel to hell? Wouldn't it be more effective to take an electric car? Um, well, no. I, I, personally, I, personally, I personally prefer gasoline drawers. I think that's really fun. But 
I, this is me, personally. What? Problem. Not electric? No, because that's for communists. <laughs> yeah, and they wouldn't be Fox News viewers. No, they need to, like, the, the best way to travel to hell is rolling coal as you go down the highway. The highway Clean coal. Clean coal. Except, no, you're, no, no, except no, no, the no. reason you're going to hell is because you're taking Teslas there, and they can't get up that highway because they're Teslas, <laughs> and so now you have traffic to the hell. 